Hi, I'm Andrew. Today I would like to teach you how to find the mass percents of each element inside of sodium carbonate. In order to do so, we're going to find the mass first, and I have a nice little table to help us out. Here we go. Bam. So the first thing is to write the elements down that we see. So we got sodium, we got carbon, we got oxygen. Then the next step is to write down the number of atoms, and that's where the subscripts come into play. Now, if you don't see a subscript, put in a one. That's what it is assumed to be. So we got two sodium, one carbon, and three oxygen. Then we're simply going to multiply those number of atoms by the mass of each particular element, and those masses are found on the periodic table. Sodium's mass is 22.99, carbon is 12.01, and oxygen is going to be 16. So that's what we're going to write in. 22.99 for sodium, carbon is 12.01, and oxygen was 16. And then we're simply going to multiply these rows on a cross to find the total mass of that particular element in the compound. So sodium here would be 45.98 units of mass, carbon is going to be 12.01, and oxygen is going to be 48. And then to find the total mass of the entire compound, just simply add up all of these total masses of each element, all right? So it's gonna be 105.99. And there you have it, right? That's the total mass of the compound. That was the first step. Now with this in hand, I'm gonna add a column to the table to calculate those percentages. Here we go. Bam. So to find the mass percent of sodium, we're gonna take the total mass of the sodium, 45.98 units of mass, divided by then the total mass of the entire compound, 105.99, Hence why we had to do that first. Now you don't have to worry about the units here because they will cancel. So who cares if it's gram per mole or uh, AMU? Doesn't really matter. So we're simply going to now plug that on into the calculator if you need. 43.38%. All right. And that's what it works out to be for sodium. So carbon, same thing. Take the total mass of the carbon here. So you're only looking at this particular column when you're doing this part of the problem. And that's how the table helps us with structure. All right. And simply now... Uh, calculate this on out, so that would be 11.33%. All right, so that's the percentage of carbon in there by mass. And then same thing for oxygen. Take the total mass of the oxygen. I'm just going to write 48. The zeros don't really do anything in terms of the number, but they do affect the significant figures. And depending upon how particular your teacher is, that's the difference between maybe getting a, you know, I don't know, a 98 and a 42. So just be careful with these sig figs. So 45.29. Uh, so 45.29%. All right. And that's all there is to it. You can simply add these together and it should work out to be 100% roughly. Um, if you add the exact percents together, obviously it should be exactly 100, but considering the rounding, sometimes it might not work out precisely. But that's all there is to it, all right? So thanks so much for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you can, like and subscribe. We would love to help you out with more stuff. Take care.